What's going on guys? Welcome to today's episode of Big South Outdoors TV. Before we get into it, be sure and click the like button if you're liking enjoying the content of these videos. Click that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and when you do, click that notification bell so you don't miss anything. So what are we doing today? Well, my work day got cut short as you can see it's bright and sunny out here. We need rain. We need rain really bad. We're supposed to get some this week, but we, you know, that remains to be seen. I've, I've been thinking about doing something, adding a little upgrade to my, my equipment to give me a little edge, but I haven't done it yet. Well, today's the day. A lot of guys up the Northwest, they stripe lawns. Some mowers have the equipment from the factory, some don't. And what it does when you when you're going this way, it pulls the, the mat of the grass this way. And then when you turn and come back this way, it pulls it this way. So they're actually pulled opposite of each other. And when the sun hits it, it gives one stripe the, the appearance of being really light and the other one being really dark, depending on how the sun's rays hit it. I've been thinking about doing this for quite a while I just haven't done it because I've always been told you can't stripe grass unless you cut it four inches or higher. Well, I found out that is not true. My grass out there, I've got it uh, cut at about two and three quarter inches and it is striped absolutely beautiful. Uh, as a matter of fact, I will put a still shot of my yard being striped right here. Now, what I used to stripe that with, I took a literal piece of PVC pipe and I put it on the bottom of my deck just so it would hang down just about that much below the bottom of the deck. That's how I striped that grass and you saw the picture. That is not, the pro that is not a proper stripe kit but I, and I wanted to do it right. So I had to go through my um, dealership. Well, when I called my dealership, they didn't even have them in stock because nobody around here stripes grass. I will literally, there's a car coming down the street, I will literally be the first one around here that is actually striping grass with a gravely mower. I'm going to bring it up here and let you see it and I'm going to give you, uh, let you have a detailed look at it because those of you that run gravely like I do, you might be interested in doing this also. This is what it looks like in the box. This is what it, how it comes. So I'm gonna open it up. And this is basically what it looks like. You have this big old flap of rubber. Now this part I think goes this way and the shiny part goes to the, to, the, to the back of the deck. I will have to check that to be sure, but I believe that's the way it goes. My deck is a 52 inch deck. All this is really is a strap of rubber. It's, it's really dense, really thick rubber. And there you go right there. That's what it looks like. If I hope the camera is focused on that. It's probably a little more than a sixteenth of an inch thick. And it's pretty stiff rubber. I mean, I, I'm not, it's pretty stiff. There, the, there are chalk lines here, and you have to be really careful not to rub these chalk lines off. But that is for a 60-inch deck, and this is for a 52-inch deck. And you, so you cut it right there, and the same applies on this side, on this end. That is for a 66, that is for a 60, and that is for a 52. So you cut it on these lines, and then it lines right up with the back of the deck. These are the brackets. There are, I think, four of these. Point to the camera so you can really see it. There's four holes, two in each side, and it's about an eighth of an inch thick. You have washers and bolts. When I was researching striping kits. I found many different brands of stripe kits. Most of them are anywhere from $260, $280 up to $500, depending on what type of stripe kit you go with. I didn't want to spend that much money not knowing how striping was going to do down here in the south. Like I said, 
I've said it on many. I live in the dirty south. I actually live in the Tar Heel state of North Carolina. Uh, as a matter of fact, today is October 5th, and it's 87 degrees out here. The, if we got some rain, the grass would be growing vigorously. But unfortunately, as I've said before, it's dry as a popcorn fart out here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get my, my station set up. I'm going to get the mower over here. And then once I get to the point that I'm going to be installing this, I'm going to put the cam set the camera back up and get you going. Now, the second reason I'm doing this is because there are, although there are many DIY striping uh, kit, stripe kit installation videos on YouTube, there's only one other one that I've seen that actually is a Gravely mower with a Gravely stripe kit on it. I felt that it was worth the time and the effort to produce content that maybe someone else could get some use out of. I feel like this will separate me from some of the other people. It'll give me, a, it won't give me an edge because the quality of the work is what gives you the edge. But I believe this will make my cutting ability more unique it will make it stand out more. I'm not I'm not trying to take business from other people. I don't believe in fishing in somebody else's pond. As you can see, I've got the tires off. And yeah, I know I don't have jack stands, but the way this machine is built, jack stands would be more of a hindrance than a help. So I had some wooden blocks and they're pretty good and solid. They're not going anywhere. We're gonna get going. The next step in this process is to find your size deck on this. There's 66, 60, and 52. Well, that is a 452, which means it's a 400 series, and it's got a 52 inch deck. So, got my scissors. We slowly and methodically cut the 52 inch line, being careful to stay as, as much on the line as you possibly can. <clears throat> I don't know if you can hear it cutting, but that's some thick rubber. It sounds like it's fiber reinforced. We'll find out here in just a second. That's one side. Well, just fall down on the concrete, why don't you? I don't know if that's fiber reinforced. It looks like it is right there. The other side also has a line. You cut it. on the 52 inch line. I like leaving the line because if I need to go back and shave a little bit off, you can, but if you cut too much off, you can't add to it. Now I did cut a little wider, actually wider than I would have liked. So I'm gonna turn it around and I'm going to shave right at the line. There we go. Just that little piece right there. Next step is getting everything arranged and start putting it on the machine. All right, I'm <clears throat> getting ready to start installing. Uh, I'm gonna try to my best to stay out of the camera, out of the way of the camera as much as possible. But I don't know that I'll stay completely out of the way of the camera. And if I don't, please forgive me. This is a Torx head bolt. Uh, I'm gonna get it as close to the camera as I can. There you go, Torx head. It is a T45. So I'm gonna use my trusty impact wrench because I don't have a cordless drill and see if I can drive these things in the holes. The instructions say to use the bottom hole, but I'm gonna go up one because I want, I want to be able to strike the first time and not have to go over it again and again. And I'm praying that this impact wrench will actually drive these bolts through this steep. So we're about to find out. If not, I'm gonna have to back up and regroup. one down and many more to go. Um. All right, we're uh, we're done. This was an arduous process to get this stripe kit installed. This machine is built so low to the ground, it's built like a tank. You see what I, the measures I had to go through. Now, this jack did not go on until, go under here, 
until we were putting those bolts there in so we did not have to crawl under the machine un with on the jacks. I don't want any comments about that's not safe. We didn't crawl up under machine with just the jack. We had a block just like this under that axle over there, right there. And then when we got to that point, we had to move the, the block system so we could get the impact wrench in there to put the bolts in. This machine is built so low to the ground, we had to move that to get, we had to jack it up really high to get it under there, but I blocked the front end so it would not move. But that's it, guys. That's it. Now, the instruction said to put it in this hole here, right there, the bottom hole, but I don't wanna have to go back and do this process again so I, I opted to go up one hole, or go down one hole. It would be a little stiffer. I mean, it would be a little longer and a little stiffer. And it would actually lay better stripes that way. Because the grasses down here in the south in the Tar Heel State of North Carolina, they're not the easiest in the world to strike. I, just, I opted to go ahead and do that so I would not have to get back under here, adjust this thing. So that's it, guys. That is the Gravely Stripe Kit and the part number... There's the kit number right there, guys. 7921300. All right, hold it. Stop everything. Uh, this stripe kit was a huge fail. We installed it on the mower, as you saw in this video. We went to the job. We used it. I used it for about a week, and I, and to be honest with you, it striped okay. It wasn't the the best in the world, but it striped okay. Today is Saturday. When I've done the, when I filmed the, the installation, I was on the front porch of my or of my office rather. Me and Nate were we, we worked for a couple of hours to get it put on. The the biggest issue with putting it on is actually getting underneath the machine. I mean that's the hard part. After using it for about a week, it wasn't the most defined stripes in the world, but it worked well. Thursday, with today is Saturday, so day before yesterday, we were on a job. Nate was cutting he was just cutting just straight up grass and he was cutting an area just like that no roots no nothing well i noticed there was no stripes and i thought okay because we were cutting on three and a half well actually three and three quarters of an inch which should have striped the grass beautiful because it was long leaf grass and by the way this was a new customer I really wanted to impress this man. I knew something was wrong. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what was wrong. But before, but in order for me to do that, I had to stop the camera, and then I'm gonna turn, the, I'm gonna flip the camera around. Okay, I've turned the camera around. Now this is the actual stripe kit that you get from Gravely. You can at times order it off of Amazon. As you can see, there's not much to it. I mean, it's really thin. Now it is fiber reinforced, as you can see, but it's just a thin thin strip of rubber i mean that's that's basically all there is to it the problem that i encountered was it now when i first installed it i started in this hole right here when you cut grass three inches or lower it was that high off the ground it wouldn't it wouldn't even strike so i had to drop i had to drop it down and instead of having to do it twice i just went ahead and dropped it put it in these holes right here as you can see the washer print right there that's that was a bolt with the washer in it well here's what happened it tore now this is tape it tore right there this section here because of the way they've got it designed for the deck it's a big open spot and it literally dragging on the ground trying you know striping doing what it's designed to do it tore not only did it tear there but it the bracket that you put on it it literally rip through there also this is not a good quality material to use for striping what i did in order to do what i needed because the the uh the mounting hardware that gravely supplies you is actually very very good hardware you get metal plate 10 inches long they bolt here they go from here one goes from here to here another on this end and there's actually two because there one is here and here and then there's one over here and then you put a, a, a separate bolt with a washer just like you do here i what i ended up doing was i ended up going to my local semi truck supply store i bought a good old-fashioned semi mud flap that's that's what this is as you can see the design on it i'm sure you've probably seen this on many other many trucks going down the road but i want you to look at the difference in the thickness 
of these two materials. I want you to look at the difference in the thickness of that. I've already got this installed on, on my Gravely and I'm gonna walk back here and I'm gonna show it to you. That's it right there. And it is stiff as a darn board and it strikes very, very well. Now, I don't know what happened. Uh, the only thing I can figure is it may have gotten hot. It may have caught on a heavy piece of grass or something like that. I, I just don't, I don't know. But I did notice it wasn't striping. Well, I took the tape off and here's the severed piece right here. Now guys, this should not happen. You know, this is not up to up to standards. What I ended up doing was I called Gravely. I told them, well, the Aaron's Corporation, and I told them what happened. And of course, they offered to give me my money back, and I told them I don't want my money back. I said, what I want is for your products like this to reflect the quality and high standards of your machine. I said, Gravely is probably in the top three toughest machines on the market. I mean, guys are built like tanks. I said, but your striping kit doesn't reflect that i said your mulch guard does your mulch plate system i said uh, your blades your your spindles all i said that it all reflects that quality i said but this stripe kit is lacking i'm going to be emailing gravely pictures of this thing you know a week's a week's use a week's use and it it tears up that's this is the first time i've ever done something that i'm not with gravely that i'm not happy about i wanted to do this because my channel will real will always reflect truth when i buy a product and i unbox it i use it and i give you my honest opinion of the the easiness of use the quality of the product and how well it holds up this thing didn't hold up i'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat anything just because i'm a gravely guy i'm not going to sugarcoat anything i'm going to tell you the truth and the truth of the matter is it didn't hold up and so what i like i said what i ended up doing is buying a mud flap and making my own stripe kit and it works very well where are we at as of right now well i'm going to be emailing gravely i'm going to be emailing their product and development department and showing them pictures of this and suggesting to them as an end user they change the quality and the thickness of the holes and everything are fine the thickness of it is is the problem number one it's not stiff enough if you're in the north and you're cutting fescue grass that's this tall, this would work fine. It may not hold up, but it would work okay for that. But down here in the south where you have centipede, you have tight Bermuda, you have Bahia grass, those grasses, they're shorter grasses. You can't stripe it well unless you have something that's really stiff. I'm going to be suggesting that, that they change the way they build these things, the way they make them, and make them out of a thicker, harder, but still pliable rubber. So I wanted to be completely honest with you guys on this video. I didn't want you to think that I was going to sit here and try to, you know, shoot roses and stars up your rear end. That ain't me. That's not this channel. This channel is about honesty and integrity. So anyway, I hope you understand. I hope you enjoyed the content of this video. And if you did, please hit the like button, guys. Liking the video, let Let's YouTube know that you enjoyed this channel so please do that also if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel we're, we've got we got a giveaway going on right now we're giving away a t-shirt with the with the big South Outdoors TV logo on it if you want to be entered into that contest you have to do two things number one you have to subscribe to the channel number two when you subscribe to the channel whichever video you happen to be watching comment on that video t-shirt and that will let me know, or Nate know, or or uh, Flossie, my wife know, that you have entered the contest for the t-shirt giveaway. So please do that. And if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, guys. We would love to have you be a part of the Big South family. And when you do that, click the notification bell so you get notifications every time we post new content. This is Brian with Big South Outdoors TV. 